Hey, what's up, guys? It's Kanye from Phoenix Angelo. And first and foremost, I want to apologize to everyone out there for not having content for a couple of days now. I've just been busy with school, work, and life in general, so I'm sorry about that, guys. Just wanted to apologize to all my subscribers. And another thing I wanted to do before the video starts is I want to thank everyone out there for helping me to get to 4,000 subscribers. We're 4,000 subscribers strong now, and I can't thank everyone enough. Um, all those YouTube channels who have helped me out, you know who you are. I don't want to mention names because I don't want to forget anyone else. So thank you everyone out there for supporting me. So let's get started to the video. In this video, I just want to talk about the importance of deloading, guys. For those who aren't familiar, deload is basically when you take a week or two of recover. Some take this as active recovery. Some take it just time off the gym. In my opinion, what I like to do is, is that I like to do an active recovery. Active recovery is basically deloading. What is deloading, right? Deloading is when you decrease the weights or the reps of your workouts in order to have the active recovery while you're recovering whether it's from joint pains, whether it's from soreness or anything along that line. I do believe that deloading is necessary for an athlete because deloading has a lot of positive benefits that you can gain from it. Personally what I found is that during deload week I'm able to rest my central nervous system because for those who have power days or power workouts or heavy workouts you know that those compound movements such as the squats, deadlifts, and bench press they take a toll on you, especially when you're going for that heavy set or heavy reps when you're really trying to maximize that potential lift. Now this deload week really helps you rest, really helps you recover on that central nervous system. It helps you by recovering your mental and physical aspect on your training. Now when should you deload? Well what I personally think is that I deload personally for every fourth week of whatever workout I'm in basically. Alright if you think about it guys, you take a deload every fourth week and in a year that's 52 weeks right? So you'll be spending about 13 weeks of that year just to deload. Now if, on the other hand if you decided to just take a deload after you get an injury that injury might cause you about six weeks, seven weeks, along those lines. And next thing you know, that's seven to eight weeks with constantly without working out. So if you think about it, if you take a deload every fourth week, you're actually saving more time and able to work out a lot more throughout a year because you won't have to take time off for such a long time continuously like you would if you would get injured and then take time off. In result, I think deloading is necessary for anyone to put their training out there. Um, deloading will help you mentally and physically recover. It'll help you with your joints, it'll help you mentally with your central nervous system, and it also helps you become that much hungrier next time you hit the gym. If a lot of you guys are losing motivation to go to the gym, the reason might be that you're training too intensively for your central nervous system to handle. So a DLO will help you in the long run, and that DLO will re-motivate you to hit the gym that much harder in the next week. So I hope this helps some of you guys out there. Thank you guys for being patient with my videos and everything. Thank you everyone for the support. Much love, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. God bless.